Today we're searching for a car, but not at the car dealership. We're going to the internet. Let's see what we got. 5.0 Mustang for trade for cannabis. $4,000. Only in California. Hello, I would like to trade my 5.0 Mustang for two pounds of marijuana. No less, no more. This is not how the world works. I can't just go to Walmart with a bag of cocaine and trade it for groceries. Email me and I will email you back ASAP. I am not the police or narco or undercover. I can meet in the location of your choice. You can tell that this dude is a stoner because he's too lazy to go sell his car and then go buy the weed with it. Man, these are just getting better and better. 1995 Pontiac Grand AM GT, AKA Jesus Tap Dancing Christ. 199,999 to $700. That's better than the American Airlines ticket price cuts after they dragged that guy out of the plane. Never in your life has a car made you so appealing to the opposite sex. From provocative curves to the paint job that says, screw you, I'm a car. This five speed 1995 Pontiac emulates manliness from every loosely cooped piece of sheet metal. Every previous owner has had a beard. This guy needs to be hired by a marketing company because he makes great ads. There are three things I want in a guy. Tall, dark, and drives up. Teal Grand AM. Driving is better than your last four romantic encounters combined. I mean, this dude can make a piece of sound like an expensive convertible. Next. Ah, oh, shit, guys. This one doesn't look too good. The 2000 Yamaha Raz. Look closely. There's a moped in this picture. I'm not too sure if this guy is selling a moped or his ass. Well, by what I've seen so far, I'm gonna try to read this as if the guy were reading it for us. Your obvious shortcomings as a human stand no chance against the infinite sex appeal of the Yamaha Raz. Need proof? Numbers don't lie, honey. Think 100 miles per gallon. Think 49 cc's of barely legal power. Think one Raz. The moment you take saddle, you'll completely forget about the fact that this bad girl needs a battery, a carb cleaning, and perhaps a little pep talk before it will run. For the last two years, it's been sitting, waiting patiently for a hero to revive it from its sexy slumber. Adrenaline level, roller coaster, firing a gun. That list is all out of place. Riding a roller coaster is definitely more exciting than firing a gun. God of mercy! Help me! Love it! I love you, my best mommy! Eating Jesus, eating spicy food, riding a unicorn. Hold on, so eating spicy food is more exciting than meeting Jesus. This guy has his priorities all f***ed up. Boom, you're pregnant. Still not sure if he's selling the moped or selling his ass. What do we got next? 89 Toyota Corolla, AKA the panty dropper. Only $499.99, what a Deal. This popping, panty dropping sex machine is finally on the market. Not only will the car get you, it'll get your. Every single owner of this car has had an average of 17 girlfriends at once. If it's not clear enough, this car gets you laid. I mean, sex does sell. This guy's got the right idea. So much space. Plenty space equals plenty positions. Very spacious with cup holders and extra compartments for your condoms. You'll definitely need extra condoms with this car. Body of a goddess. Couple of dents, rust in the engine, and some scratches. But who the f cares when you're getting laid in this car? You know, I'm sure that there's semen and lube engraved into the seats. Ugh. Important sh Runs like a crack whore from the cops. Really f fast. Comes as is, whatever you find, you can keep. Mileage, 214 racks. One owner, tons of dough, besides the rust, good. Buy it now and drop some panties. You know what I think? That car is a curse. 
The owner's trying to sell it because he can't get any So he's trying to pass that curse onto somebody else. Smart man. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Make sure that you like and comment on this video. Let me know if you ever had any crazy experiences buying a vehicle. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more content like this and to my channel, Uh-Oh Monkey TV. My name is Uh-Oh Nick and I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Bye!